Hey, I'm coach David Ades. I offer real affordable life coaching. And today I'm talking about winning the morning, which actually translates to winning the mind. In order to be able to accomplish anything in the morning or to accomplish anything on any day at any time, you would have to win over the space in your mind. You have space in your mind. And sometimes some of it is full. It's occupied with repetitive thoughts. It's occupied with negative emotions. It's occupied with unresolved trauma, mental pain. And you can't win your mind. You can't use it. You can't focus. You don't have access to the resources of your mind or your attention to get yourself up or to soothe yourself down. When we're talking about winning the mind especially early in the day, which would mean winning the morning, because the earlier in the day you can win over your mind, the, the more you will be able to win during the day. Sometimes you can't win your mind at any point of the day. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Your mood is too low. You didn't sleep well. You're too stressed. Your mind, you can't win it. Doesn't matter how many things you accomplish during the day. And that's the way that it is sometimes. But when we're talking about winning our minds, we're really talking about shutting up. We're really talking about getting our minds to shut up, open, just, just shut up and whew, give me some room to use you, mind. Stop being used compulsively. Stop being used by the trauma. Stop being used by the mental pain. Stop being used by the anxiety or the repetitive thoughts. If we want to shut up our minds so we can win it, and then use it to win at life, we're going to have to learn how to shut up through meditation, for example. A good way of thinking of meditation is trying to shut up. We're going to have to resolve our trauma so we can integrate some of the pain that's lurking in the back of our minds and, and taking up too much space uh, that we then don't have access to. We are talking about strengthening our characters to master anxiety. We're talking about dealing with the issues behind the repetitive thoughts. So if you are someone who has trouble winning your mind, not only especially in the morning, but just in general, uh, you might benefit from some practices that are meant to do all of these things. Heal the pain that's bothering you. Uh, get to the root of the issues that are causing anxiety or repetitive thoughts. Strengthen your character to master anxiety, meditate or do meditative like things in order to learn to shut up. Uh, using tools for support to help you shut up, like music that you life, like or soothing sounds or frequencies or things that you enjoy, kind of emotional support helps you shut up. It's not about like, you have to shut up and be disciplined and more motivated. It's also like, well, how can I shut up if I just feel so chaotic all the time and, and uncomfortable? I have to have like a support, a, a comfort zone. I have to have a sense of self that I could shut up into because this is how relaxation in general works. Whether you're at the beach or whether you're at work, whether you're listening to your favorite song, the place that you relax into is here. So if you don't have something here that you can relax into, a strong sense of self, uh, regulated self-esteem, value, self-worth, if you don't have anything to relax into, you won't be able to relax to begin with. If you resonate with the topic or topics of this video, schedule a free 30-minute session with me by clicking the first link in the description. Reach out to me through Instagram at Coach David Ades or through my email, david at dyingtolive.blog. Like this video. If you do like it, comment your experience with this down below, and I will talk to you soon.